Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review and wear test of the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. So if you're interested, keep watching and let's do it. Alright guys, let's get into this. I did film another video of this eye look and review of the Lois Cosmetics, the Midnight, Meet Me at Midnight palette. So if you're interested in that, I will leave it up above because... Well, I don't know if it's going to be out. It's probably going to be out. That video is probably going to be at Friday. This one will roll out on Monday. You'll see this look on Friday. All right, let's get into this. This is the HD Skin Makeup Forever Professional Paris Foundation. This is one of their newer foundations. Um, there's actually 40 shades of this foundation to choose from. So there's a variety of undertones, which is amazing. The one I picked is 2Y30. It is a warm sand for medium skin tones with a yellow undertone. I think I should have chosen the 2Y20, which is a light to medium with yellow undertones. But this is the one I chose, so pray for me. We'll hope for the best. I know this is a new version of the Ultra HD foundation, which I wasn't a fan of. But it seems like a lot of people love that foundation and are very mad that they discontinued it. So the claims of this foundation is that it instantly blurs. It's a natural finish. It's 24-hour wear, which I won't be wearing it for 24 hours. It's waterproof and sweatproof, which is uh, uh, what I need in Louisiana. It is a medium coverage, which claims to cover all your imperfections. And it has a true to skin finish. So that's all the claims of this foundation. It does say it's best for oily, combo, and normal skin. I will say my skin is normal, but I do get oily in my T-zone. It does have a 4.4 star rating on the Makeup Forever website and a 4.3 star rating on Sephora's website. So let's get started. I'm going to be applying mine with a brush. It does come with a pump. It is a glass bottle. Cute top. I mean, the packaging is really pretty. It does seem like you get a lot of product in here. It does say 30 milliliter, which is a average amount of foundation that you would get in a liquid foundation. But I guess the bottle makes it look like it's just in my, my arm. I'm swatched up. So I'm going to put a little, some pumps on my hand. Maybe about three pumps so it's liquidy not too liquidy does feel a little bit of tackiness and I will just dot that all on my face like I normally would and then I'm gonna go in with my Sigma F82 round kabuki and which I you know I love I'm gonna use whatever's on my hand I'm gonna do my neck with that so we'll do a full day wear test and then I will give you my review at end of day to see if this foundation, you know, kept up with the hype of its claims. It actually looks like it's a nice match for me if it doesn't oxidize much. It does look like skin like finish first application. Um, I do have this right here. Period time, you know, it is what it is. It does feel still a tacky on my skin. It does look pretty. It's given my skin like looking like really fresh and hydrated off the bat we do have to let it sit down let it settle and see how it looks after that so i'm gonna go put the rest of my makeup on and i'll be right back 
guys this is the finished look i powdered i put stuff on my face i will tell you what i use on my face today i use the laura mercier um translucent setting powder and i will list below all the products that i use ace beauty bronze and paradise palette i did use the second one right here um i do have a video of me trying um some of the ace beauty new products from them i will link that above if you're interested in that i use the ofra cosmetics this is the sitting pretty palette it i use the pink satin um for my cheeks and I use the Ace Beauty Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette, which I absolutely love. I've been using this. Look how much I've been using it. Uh, yeah, you can tell. I use Glowing, which I use on a natural day. And I did top it off a little bit with Icy just to get a little bit of that more sparkly for this eye look. And then I did put Popping right here in my inner corner for my eye look. So that is my highlighters that I use today for my lipstick. I paired the I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona. This is the 34NP Yana. That's that one. I love this color. It is so pretty. And I used one thing from Ace Beauty that I've tried in that um, video I was talking about. This is their, from their Pout Perfect. Um, collection their new one this is the pout perfect lip liner this one is in in love actually love this color like pairing that color with a nude lipstick it looks very pretty like very pretty i love this combo and i use the ace beauty spot on this is a lip gloss it is clear it has like a little sparkly reflect you're probably not going to see that but my lips feel so nourished and hydrated just feel good i'm not really going to get into the eyes because i do have that video coming on friday you will see that one and everything else i will link below but i do have some errands to do today oh i did use the vanish airbrush primer by hourglass i use that as a primer underneath the foundation so i do have some errands today i'm going to go run some errands i'm gonna to try to do a check-in if not i will do an end of day um my thoughts and everything so stay tuned all right guys this is my midday check-in just showing you it does feel a little heavy on my face which i don't like i don't know if i use too much of the foundation that is something that I'm going to have to, you know, try and do like more wear, wear tests with it as I go on. And I will update you in my description box as well as probably other videos. But it does look very pretty. I've been wearing it for a good like four hours right now. I had to go pick up for my girl at work birthday cookie cake. I could say that because this will probably be up tomorrow and I'm going to bring it to work tomorrow. So happy birthday, Courtney but I will do a end of day review. So, okay. All right, guys, this is end of day. It's been a long, like nine hours I've been wearing this foundation. I did no touch-ups at all. I didn't even touch up my lipstick. You see I ate and I st you can still see it. I'm loving it, loving that combo. But the foundation, it wears beautifully. The only thing is, is that it sits a little bit heavy on the skin. So if you do not like that, I don't know if you're going to like this foundation. Because it, it does like, you can actually feel it sitting on your skin, if you know what I mean. Um, also, I would not recommend this for anyone that has oily skin. Recommend it for dry skin, um, combo, normal perfect anybody with oily skin i don't think it would go with because i do felt a little bit oily throughout the day but i didn't touch it up or anything but i did feel like it was getting kind of oily throughout the day when i was running around and stuff like that but it didn't separate or anything um it looks actually really pretty i like it i like it i think it's just 
complexion season that's what it is right now complexion season and it seems like I like a lot of the foundation complexion products that are coming out most of the time it's either you know I like some don't like some it doesn't really work well for me but all of the ones that I've tried so far I mean I can't really say anything negative about it but the HD skin foundation is the one I tried today and I really like it and I enjoy it I will update y'all in the description box because I will keep wearing it and testing it out for you I did notice a little itching during the day but I think it's because I just have I have eczema so like I'm a city girl and I'm from the city and when I moved to more of a country setter or country setting um I have eczema now my skin gets rashes and stuff so it's probably because of that these lashes are driving me crazy. They won't stick down. I love the lashes themselves, but the actual glue that I use was like this fault tip glue that they're coming out with now. A lot of brands are coming out with it. Um, but it's not staying on my eyes and it's pissing me off. Well, anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Until next time, stay blessed.